Hey guys, and welcome back to Mel's Beauty Hangout. The first thing I wanna say is I am wearing a shirt, so I'm not on here naked, just in case you thought that, because it definitely looks like it. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who has already subscribed to me. I am new to YouTube, and I just appreciate your support so much. And if you are watching this right now, enjoyed what you watched all today, um, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any new content that I post. As you can see, the title of this video is all about how to get that bronzy sun, golden goddess look. <laughs> um, it's a look that I like to do like, if I'm going to the beach. I like to just be very bronzy. Number one thing I will always say to you is always wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen everywhere. Just put it everywhere. Uh, I do talk about sunscreen that I put on my face and put on my neck and my chest um, before I always go out into the sun. But please, please, please wear sunscreen. Even if it's in your makeup, just wear sunscreen. That is the number one beauty tip I'll ever give you. Wear sunscreen. So anyways, uh, as you can see, I just got this nice glowy, dewy look, but it's also products I know are gonna last on my skin, but also look really pretty outside. And because obviously we don't wanna look just like we tried way too hard, we just wanna look like we're glowing within. I did some highlighting on my decollete, on my shoulders, and stuff like that. So if you wanna see how I got this bronzy goddess, glowy look that you can wear to the beach, or just wearing it outside, I just want everyone to know that you're glowing, then go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna moisturize your face. Um, I do have sunscreen on. I have on the Clarins UV Plus Anti-Pollution Factor of SPF 50 Serum. What I really like about this is that it doesn't have a white cast and also it is, it's just very light on the skin. So you definitely need sunscreen on if you're going to the beach. So do not skip on that step. Go ahead and moisturize our face with the Glam Glow Glow Starter. I've talked about this before, um, but it's in the shade Nude Glow. What I really like about it is this is kind of what it looks like. Very nudey. And so what I really like about it is that it just gives a really nice glow to your skin, but not too overpowering. So I just take a good amount and kind of just work that out all in my face. It's kind of the base to get that glowy look. It's literally 90 degrees today, so I really wanted to do a makeup, makeup routine for you guys that is, I'm actually hot because I don't have an air conditioner or anything like that because I'll be moving out in like two weeks. So I really wanted to put to the test. Now we're gonna go into our primer because you definitely want your makeup to stay on as long as possible without sweating off and because I do not like that whatsoever and I'm sure you don't either. So I'm gonna go in with the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. It's a strobing and pore minimizer one. So this primer pretty much just gives you a, like a glow to your skin but also priming it at the same time so. I've noticed that it made my foundation stay on longer. For foundation today, what I'm gonna be using is going to be the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. You guys know this has been my recent favorite. And what I really like about this foundation is that it doesn't look like you're wearing foundation. I mean, obviously, yes, you are. But it looks just very natural on the skin. And so I feel like, in, and I know what it looks like in natural daylight, and I think it looks beautiful. I do mix 710 with 742 for girls to have the biggest shade range with these. But I like to mix my foundations. So I just put it on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna gauge on how it looks. So this is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of my 710 to lighten that up.
I might have made this a little bit too dark for me, but that's okay. All right, so that's what the foundation looks like on. Um, it will, like I said, oxidize later, but for concealer today, we're just gonna go in with our Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I like to use a more of a lighter, more of a lighter formula when I use concealer because I would go with my shape tape, but I think it's a little heavy if you're going for an outdoor beachy look. So I really like the Maybelline Fit Me. So this is what it looks like with concealer and foundation on. And next, normally I'd go in and powder, but first we're gonna put on our liquid highlighter. This is the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops in the shade Morning Light. There we go. So I took two pumps and I just put it in the middle of my palm. And I'm just kinda like dabbing it out. It's a really weird sound. And I'm going to first just like dot it on the high points of my cheekbones. So I'm just going to my beauty sponge and I'm going to blend out those beauty drops. That's what it looks like when the drops are blended out. So I'm gonna go with my MAC Underlyed Skin Finish in Medium. I'm just gonna go ahead and set my underlying concealer so it doesn't so it doesn't crease throughout the day. And as you can tell, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm only putting powder over my face where I did not put the liquid drops. So now we're actually gonna go into our powder highlighters. We're gonna go and use the Nicole Guerrero highlighting palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna go into the Glow Getter and the Forever Young and mix those two together and just go over where we put those uh, luminizing drops. So now that we have the highlighter on and we are literally glowing, um, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. We're gonna go into our Morphe 437 brush. I freaking love this brush. And I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go too crazy with um, bronzing, but I definitely wanna get bronzer. I just wanna get like some color, you know? All right, so I had some battery malfunction, but we're back. So I don't remember what I was saying last, but I was just bronzing up my skin down here, making every sure, making sure everything blends. And so what I'm gonna do, cause I don't wanna wear a ton of blush just because I want it more like a bronzy look, but we are gonna dip into our Flower Beauty blush. This is the Flower Pots powder brush in Peach Primrose. So I'm just taking a little bit and I'm only gonna put it on the apples of my cheeks just to give me a kind of a nice flush look. All right, so I'm just go ahead and do my eyebrows. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes. I'm not gonna do anything crazy just because I'll be wearing sunglasses all day because it's bright out and I'm like always blind. My eyes are really sensitive. I'm gonna keep this super simple. So we're just gonna use the bronzer that we went into with, we went in with over our face. So whatever bronzer you use, you can use that for your eyes. So I just go in with a bl fluffy blending brush and I just go ahead and put that all on my crease. I'm gonna go into my Buxom customizable palette. I customized this one myself. I'm gonna go into this bright shade, bright, that was weird, into this bright shade right here. 
I'm gonna take that on a flat brush, if I can find one. I'm just gonna use this flat brush. It's normally for concealer, but whatever. So I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid. Like that. We're gonna go back in with that fluffy blending brush. So I'm just going to buff out those edges so there's no sharp lines. Then we're gonna go in with our Luminous Lash Paradise mascara from l'oreal maybe i should probably let me know what your favorite waterproof mascaras are below and maybe i'll check some out so this is the nyx liquid suede in life's a beach and i've worn this before on my channel i think it's a stunning color if you're wearing if you're just wearing um, sunglasses i mean i think it's great to have a pop of color on your lips so i'm gonna go ahead and use this Alright, so then for our last step, I'm going to go in with and do our highlighting because I feel like if we're super highlighting on the face, we're going to be outdoors, we want our whole bodies to glow. So I'm going to go with this Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in, in Opal. I'll take a little bit and I'm going to rub this on my chest. Okay, and then for the final step, is we're gonna go in their Smashbox um, Casey Holmes palette, which we all know, tried and true, love. I'm gonna go in with Crank It Up Pearl first. And so we're just gonna kinda like awkwardly, awkwardly hunch so I can see that. Then we're gonna use Turn It On Pearl and put it uh, on our shoulders and I'm just gonna go over all that with my blow fuse so we are freaking highlighted up in here all right so this is the final makeup look so this is just a really nice way to get a very nice glow to your skin when you're on the beach just be like showing like BAM I came here to shine girl but it's also not going to, this, these highlighters aren't going to accentuate any of your pores or any of your texture that you have because I do have a bunch of text, texture on my skin. And so it's not going to enhance that because I've worn all of these highlighters. I've worn this in natural daylight, so it's going to be great for a beach day. And if you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button before you leave. I appreciate all of your support. And let me know in the comments below what videos you'd like to see next. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next one. Take care.